Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a polynomial inequality. And the first thing you want to do with this polynomial inequality is to have zero on one side. And here I will add 2x squared and I will subtract 12. And I'm going to end up with 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 less or equals zero. That's the best way to approach this problem. Uh, so, uh, add 2x squared on the right side and subtract 12 on the right side. So obviously you're going to do the same thing for the left side and you end up with what you see on the screen now. And from here, we're going to need to factor out. And this one will be x plus 4 and uh, 2x minus 3 equal 0. Double check if you are not sure about your factoring. Um, and that works fine. And then we're going to use zero product property. x plus 4 equals 0. That will give us x equals negative 4. And 2x minus 3 equals 0. That will give us 2x equals 3. And x equals 3 halves. So now we have these two values that I'm going to put them on a table. The first one is going to be negative 4. The second one is going to be 3 halves. I'm going to have to put zeros here. That's the way we found them. And the first value I have in my mind is 0. And again, I'm going to put 0 here. And I'm going to end up with 0 plus 4, which is 4. And 2x minus 3, that will be a negative Num a negative number and positive times a negative. That tells us will be a negative value here. That's the reason I'm going to put negative there. And then I'm going to look for a value larger than 3 halves, which is 2. 2 plus 4 is a positive, And 2x minus 3, if I plot 2 in it, is going to be another positive number. So here I'm going to, going to have positive values at the right of 3 halves. And similar, we're going to do a value less than negative 4, which is negative 5. If you plug it in, you're going to see it's going to be a positive value. So now we can answer to our problem. Right here, we need to find out the interval for, for which this polynomial inequality is less or equal to 0. That will be right here between negative 4 and 3 half. And you see, I put the brackets in this case because we have the equals involved in this inequality. The graphical approach, you can see it here. And you notice from here to here, the, the graph is under the x-axis, which means it's less than zero. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-squared for more help. Thank you.